Hello friends, this video on cell part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us start with endoplasmic reticulum. So what is endoplasmic reticulum? So what, do the, what does this term mean? Endoplasmic reticulum. Endo means inside. Plasmic is related to the cytoplasm. Plasmic is related to the cytoplasm. And reticulum means network. So basically it is a network of something which is present inside the cytoplasm. So let's see what is this. It is a complex network of membrane tubules which are present inside the cytoplasm. So you have some tube-like structures which are surrounded by membranes. Now everything, every cell organ is going to be membrane bound in eukaryotes. So this, these are tubular or round or oblong structures. So the shape is not very specific. Mostly they are tubular in shape and they are very specifically bound by a membrane. And they do not exist singly. A network of such tubules like structures exist together. And this entire network is called endoplasmic reticulum. This structure is very, very well developed in higher animals. Sometimes the embryo cells or the eggs might lack them. So they are generally present in the mature animals, the cells of mature animals and they are located around the nucleus. Now look wise they look different in different cells depending on their function. So they do not have a specific shape and size but yes on diff in different cells they look little different. They are of two types, rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So let us see how they look. So this is how the structure of endoplasmic reticulum look like. So here you see some leaf-like structures. That, that's how it might look to you in this picture. But actually if you see these are tube-like structures. You can consider this as one tube, right, a cylindrical structure. Again you can consider this as one tube. Again, you can consider this as one tube. So it is like several tube-like structures which are all connected to each other. So a network is being formed by such tube-like structures. So this network is endoplasmic reticulum. Now these are called rough endoplasmic reticulum and these are called smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So why, why are they called rough and why are they called smooth? That's because if you look at the rough endoplasmic reticulum, you see a lot of dots over it. So why do you say that it is a smooth surface and it, it is a rough surface? So smooth surface is not going to have any sort of intervention. It, there, there is not going to be any sort of interference on a smooth surface. But on a rough surface, you have a lot of hindrance. You, lots, you have lots of ups and downs. So here also on the rough endoplasmic reticulum, you have these structures called ribosomes. So you see? The blue dots which you see, the bigger ones, they are ribosomes. So on the rough endoplasmic reticulum, you have the ribosomes. Then what do these ribosomes do? Ribosomes are the site for protein synthesis. So proteins get synthesized on the ribosomes. So these ribosomes are present on the endoplasmic reticulum. So that type of endoplasmic reticulum is called rough endoplasmic reticulum. But the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, they do not have ribosomes. So proteins are present here. The smaller dots which are green in color, they represent proteins. So proteins are present in both of them because these proteins have been synthesized and they need to be transported. So these proteins are there but the ribosomes are not there. So that is why it has a continuous surface and it has a smooth surface. But here in this case the surface is granular. So the surface is granular due to the presence of granules of ribosomes. Right? So that is your rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So let us see where do we see endoplasmic reticulum in animal cell. So this is an animal cell. Where do you see the endoplasmic reticulum? Here. So this is your rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So this is your rough endoplasmic reticulum. So the yellow colored structure which you see here which have a lot of dots over it. So these dots are nothing but the ribosomes. Due to the presence of ribosome, the surface is rough and it is rough endoplasmic reticulum. Whereas these red colored structures, these are also tubule like structures. You can see 
the red structures, they are the tubule like structures, but they are smooth, they do not have the dots on their surface. So they are the smooth endoplasmic reticula. And you see it is located quite near to the nucleus because this structure, the central structure is the nucleus. So surrounding the nucleus is located the endoplasmic reticulum. So where do we see endoplasmic reticulum in plant cells? So this is a plant cell, so here also you can see the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So here you have the network of tube like structures without dots that is smooth endoplasmic reticulum and with dots is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So here this is rough endoplasmic reticulum where you have these dots. So that is your, so here the rough endoplasmic reticulum is the yellowish structure. So this location is such that inside you have the nucleus, just outside the nucleus, immediately after the nucleus, you have the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So basically the rough endoplasmic reticulum is continuous with the nuclear membrane. So it is something like this, you have your nucleus here, let us suppose this is nucleus. So that means this boundary is the nuclear membrane. So just in continuation with the nuclear membrane, you have the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And then the rough endoplasmic reticulum is also in continuous with the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So you can say that rough endoplasmic reticulum is continuous with the nuclear membrane on one side and it is continuous with the uh, SER that is smooth endoplasmic reticulum on the other side. So here you can see this is smooth endoplasmic reticulum and this is your nucleus and in between you have the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So let us look at the importance of endoplasmic reticulum. Why, why is it important? What, what does it do? So it helps in the manufacture of proteins and lipids. So proteins and lipids get manufactured here are used in building the plasma membrane in enzymes as and hormones like you we saw the plasma membrane components the plasma membrane is made up of two layers of lipids and proteins are embedded in the uh, layer of lipids in fact the nuclear membrane is also made up of lipids and proteins so from where do we get those lipids and proteins? So somebody needs to produce them. So the production of proteins and lipids are taken care by the endoplasmic reticulum. Now these proteins and lipids can also act as enzymes. They can also act as hormones and these hormones and enzymes, they play a very important role inside our body. So if you talk about hormones, these hormones, they play extremely important roles. For example, if you see how our brain controls all other parts of our body, how? by secretion of hormones. So hormones can actually control a lot of things, a lot of activities which take place inside our body. So this synthesis of such basic molecules like proteins and lipids are taken care by the endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum acts as a channel to transport materials to different parts of the cell. Now, as you saw in the picture, that these endoplasmic reticulum, so see here, this is the nucleus, immediately after the nucleus, we have the rough endoplasmic reticulum, so this rough endoplasmic reticulum with dots over it, so it is present in between the nuclear membrane and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, so this picture gives a clearer view that rough endoplasmic reticulum is located between the nuclear membrane and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So this endoplasmic reticulum will help in transporting substances. So whatever substances will come out of the nucleus through the nuclear pores that will be taken up by the rough endoplasmic reticulum, then it will send it to smooth endoplasmic reticulum and then this will send it to different parts of the body. So that's how it helps in transportation of materials to different parts of the cell. It also helps to detoxify poisons and drugs. So this detoxification is a very, very important process. Now, when I talk about detoxification, let me give you an example. Now, you would have often heard that people tell, people advise everyone not to consume alcohol. Why? Because they say that if somebody drinks too much or if somebody consumes too much of alcohol, it might damage his liver. So how the liver gets affected due to alcohol intake? 
Now, why only the liver gets impacted and not other organs? That's because whenever alcohol is taken inside our body, a lot of poisonous materials, a lot of toxic materials are introduced inside the body. So somebody has to do some detoxification. Otherwise, like if you consume poison, what will happen? If somebody consumes poison, that person is going to die immediately. Right, because a poisonous substance is entering inside your body. So even alcohol contains a lot of poisonous substances. But it doesn't happen that somebody has consumed alcohol and immediately it died. That doesn't happen. Why? Because liver takes up the, uh, the process of detoxification. So whenever there is an alcohol intake, the liver does the job of detoxification. So it tries to detoxify the body. It tries to reduce the effects of the toxic substances. In order to help the liver, which cells help the liver? So the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So basically, in this detoxification, important role is played by the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So what does it do is, it increases its surface area to increase the detoxification process so that the detoxification can happen faster. And once the detoxification is done, then it returns back to its normal size. That's why when somebody is consuming alcohol, then immediately there is a lot of toxic substances inside the body. So that time the liver is doing detoxification. Also the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, it will increase its size, surface area and it will do detoxification. Now once the detoxification is done, it will come back to its normal size. Now sometimes if the intake of alcohol is too high or if the frequency at which alcohol is taken in that is too high, if somebody is consuming bottles after bottles of alcohol then what happens? The smooth endoplasmic reticulum get damaged because it, it goes out of its capacity to detoxify the body. Now when the smooth endoplasmic reticulum gets damaged, so you are actually losing out somebody who is hel helping in the process of detoxification. So when the person takes alcohol, even even after that limit, then there is nobody to detoxify because the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is damaged, your liver is also damaged, so there is nobody to detoxify your body. So as a result, the person can even die. So too much intake of alcohol, excessive intake of alcohol can lead to death. So it can cause severe health problems. So that is why it is always advised not to take in alcohol. So this is another important role of endoplasmic reticulum. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.